everybody, welcome to Coffee Break with Seizure, where we slow down from racing and talk all things about Gran Turismo. In our very first episode of Coffee Break, we have our friend from Gran Turismo Singapore Facebook community, Tetson, also known as Jason, and we'll be having a chat with him about his brand new livery creation called the Patriots Porsche. We'll be walking through with him about his design concepts, what motivated him to come up with this design, and what more is to be expected from him in the near future. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the show. Hi everybody, welcome to the show. Our very first guest is Jason, aka Tetson. Jason, thank you for your time, and it's good to have you with us today. Okay, hello. Yeah, sure, no problem. So it's actually past midnight right now, so thank you for your time to you know, be with us and conduct this interview with me. Uh, local GT players may have heard of Jason's name and Jason is actually the runner-up in our recent time trial competition held at Sand Games in early December 2017. So, oh yeah, before I forget, first and foremost, Merry Christmas to you. Uh, Merry Christmas. Right. Thanks. Okay, so without further ado, we have right here on the screen a very beautiful 911 RSR. So, could you share with us more about this design? For example, does it have a name? Oh, okay. Uh, so, the, the name for this design is basically, the, I call it the Patriot Porsche. Because it's super patriotic. Uh. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, the reason why I wanted to create this design is because that I always wanted to drive a car. Whether is it in real life or in the simulation, drive a car that uh, carries the Singapore colors. Uh. Okay. So basically red and white and the uh, flag itself. Cool. So as you can see on the car, foreign car. Mm -hmm. so, so basically, I wanted to do it with uh, Singapore colors, mm -hmm. the Singapore flag, and also uh, showcase the Singapore brands. Right. Uh, our very own local brands. Uh. Right. So as you can see, uh, Inside the car, you see Challenger, Old Chunky, and FairPrice, and so on and so forth. Okay. Yeah, so, so what motivates you to actually come up with this particular design? Because I noticed that, of course, the, the, the key theme is actually a combination of, I guess it's white and uh, red. And yeah. there's a number 52 right there. So, is there any significance to the number 52? Uh, 52 basically signifies the age of Singapore this year, okay. 2017. Right. Yeah, so I might change it to 53 come August next year. <laughs> okay, cool. So how long does it take you to actually come up with uh, this design, say, as a whole? As a whole, I honestly, I lost count, but it's definitely more than 12 hours, maybe 18 hours, wow. or maybe even 24 hours. Okay. Yeah. So like to even come up with this design, I have to first upload all the decals, mm. all the brands that you see on the car is actually uploaded from my computer. Okay. And to even create all of them, you have to go through some processes, like, mm. which I have to learn from scratch. So those actually take up about five hours of my time really. So do you yourself do you actually have any design background? I have no design background. Okay. I I come from the business field. I study business. Ah, okay. And That's pretty good job for for someone who no does not come from a design background. I must say. <laughs> hey, thanks. Okay, so um, any particular reason why the Porsche 911 RSR? Uh, because it's my favorite Group Three car so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no off lah. So since I'm gonna use this car. Might as well just design it. Right. And so uh, maybe I will design other cars in the future, lah. But right now I'm just focusing on one car. Okay. Yeah. So can I safely say that this current design of this car is pretty much in its final stages? I mean, do are we expecting more enhancements or design tweaks along the way? If I could think of something really good, I might add on. But but for now, highly likely that I'm, I'll just leave it because. I spent quite a lot of time making this. Right. And I think now it's quite it's quite good enough really. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So your initial design which does not come with the red color uh bonnet. 
So yeah. in your revision, the so-called version 2, if I may say so, is it comes with this really nice uh, red uh, bonnet with the Singapore Crescent and Stars. Crescent and Stars, yeah. yeah. So what triggers you to have this change in, in this design? Yeah, uh, so my first design was basically uh, uh, there was no red bonnet or crescent star. Mm -hmm. It was just like a random. Was it? I think it was a Lee Kuan Yew tribute. Mm -hmm. it was on the hood. Right, right. And then our founder. DBS logos on DBS logos on the uh, front bumper. Right. But then when you see it in the daily races, whenever like they showcase the grid, mm -hmm. people only see the front of the car. Right. And I found the front very not doesn't leave an impact mm. with anyone uh, right people from all over the world see the car <laughs> and they have no they have no idea like what car is it it's just a normal silver colored car with uh -huh. a dbs logo that they don't really know what, mm. what bank is that what company is that uh. right yeah so i decided to make it more impactful okay and, uh, so it's to make sure that once the person looks at the car Straight away from the front of the car, you can tell that it's a Singapore mm. car. <laughs> I think the, like, the Singapore brands uh, and corporations at the side of the car also helps to make it more pronounced in a, in a way. Yeah. But okay. they only see that when they are overtaking me or when I'm <laughs> overtaking me. Speaking so, of overtaking, <laughs> uh, in the rear of the car, you have the... Uh, is, that, is that NST Engineering? Uh, as right. well as Singtel uh, and the SG Round logo. So, any reason why Singtel? Uh, because I'm a Singtel user. <laughs> and actually, first okay. I, uh, on top of that, Singtel is probably the, one of the first few telcos in Singapore, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's like, and it's an icon uh, for Singapore. Right. Like, yeah, to give it to them that they are one of the first mm. so, and one of the leaders in the industry. Uh. So right, right. Sing tell, think even the word Sing tells you it's probably from Singapore already. Okay. So it's more impactful uh, sure. rather than M1 and Starhub. Cool, cool. How about Old Chunky? Interestingly, we have Old Chunky there as well. Among, and that I think that's the only F and B brand that I see. The rest is pretty much like, you know. Uh, that's Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean on the. Right oh, there right. is. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry, I missed that. Okay, so <laughs> any reason why Mr. Bean and and Old Chunky and just for the listeners and the viewers' sake, uh, we are not having any plugins here. Uh, none of these companies are sponsoring us in terms of you know the livery, so it's really purely just for uh, non-profit sake. It's just for fun. Yeah. So, uh, any particular reason why Old Chunky and, and Mr. Bean? Uh, basically, I was just thinking of uh, Singapore food stalls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I I enjoyed Mr. Bean when I was young. Mm -hmm. uh, so I still buy them, buy from them today. <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Bean is obvious. And there's a cute uh, soya bean. Right. Also. Ah, okay. So, cool. And for Old Chunky, yeah, I think Old Chunky is quite. It's quite an iconic Singapore <laughs> brand. Okay. You know, but to me, even the logo looks nice. Right. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's one of the first few stores that came to my mind. Uh. So mm -hmm. that's why I put them in. Okay. And of course, the less, uh, the not so subtle um, corporate logo I, I also see there is uh, KF1. So, do you frequent KF1? Do you cut yourself? Uh, yeah, I. Yeah, I don't frequent KF1, but mm -hmm. I go there occasionally, yeah, to cut. Uh. Okay. And also, they are, they are the only internationally uh, approved cut mm. track in Singapore. Right. So, yeah, I just put them up there, since the color scheme also matches my car. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I would love to put, like, cutting arena to... Ah, uh, okay. Then, <laughs> okay, I don't complicate the car too much. <laughs> sure, sure. And of course, we have the Sand Games logo at the rear of the car as well, which, uh, you know, Sand Games is actually the, you know, very kindly provided us this space and 
uh, all the prizes as well for in our recent time trial competition together with Grand Turismo Singapore Facebook page. Is there a particular reason also why you 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 put their logo there? Yeah, it's because of that. They they actually hosted that competition. Mm-hmm. So uh I put there I put it, put them there in a show of appreciation appreciation. Uh. Oh that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, so Okay. Yeah, Alright. Cool. Cool. So are you currently working on uh the uh a uh, next car or you know, do you think you are like hundred percent satisfied with this car and you are are you moving on to the next one? If so, do you have like what's what's your next car that you want to work on? Uh probably the the next car I work on is probably any car that is best in class. Mm-hmm. Because since I'll be using that car anyway. Okay. So uh right now it might be the again. Mm-hmm. Again, again, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're not again. Right. Uh, but for now that car only has like the pushing logos. Ah, okay. Like just a start well, that's car. cute for a start. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, for a national car, uh, give me some time, uh. mm. uh, I don't have much time on my hands now. Sure. Uh, so just to share with the viewers, are you currently like working or studying or what? Uh, I'm currently serving NS. Uh. Ah, okay. Thank you for service. <laughs> <laughs> so how how long more to go before you ORD? Uh, August next year. Uh. Ah, okay. So less than a year to go. Okay. So in your, in your free time, you are pretty much, uh, you know... Free. Yeah, uh, free. free and <laughs> able to race. Yeah. Okay. Just to just digress a bit from the design side, uh, personally we 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 race quite frequently on on a almost nightly basis, whenever you know we can, uh, and of course um, I have to say that you are a, a pretty fast and consistent driver. Perhaps in one of our future episodes we can actually invite you back, and then we talk uh, more about the racing aspect of things. Yeah, and also I would like to take this opportunity to uh, also congratulate you in the recent placement of being a runner-up in our time trial competition at Saint Games as well. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, I gather you won a T300 RS? Yeah. Right. So have you started using the wheel or what wheel are you uh, using? No. Uh, no, I'm still using uh, my G29. Ah, okay. It's the wheel that I'm used to and it's still in perfect condition. So... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the T three is my backup wheel Ah, so. uh, okay. So you're not you're not like pouncing op- on the opportunity to just upgrade the wheel or to change the wheel or whatever. No. Mm. No, it's okay for now. Okay. When there's when there's nothing wrong, don't change it. <laughs> right, right. Cool. As I say, if it's not broken, don't don't need to fix it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Anyway, for the viewers, um, I will be taking Tesla's car for a spin around a few circuits, so that you can see the design in its full, uh, full glory. Hopefully, you guys can have a better look of uh, how this whole car looks like, and also enjoy the masterpiece of um, Jason's uh, work. So, uh, Jason, anything for us? Uh, anything you want to add on? Uh, any messages for the rest? Fact this hard. And you could be as fast as me. Oh, and okay. Beat me as well, <laughs> <laughs> no, cool. Like, I'm pretty sure some of you are even faster than me. Like people like Ali, mm-hmm. he's actually quite fast too. Right. Uh, and he's really consistent also. Okay. Like during the competition, I could see his style. Uh huh. And he's really confident in the corners, ah. Uh. Mm. Everything, lah. Uh. Right. Yeah. So I probably got lucky, but. That's racing, uh. right? So, so Alif, uh, you heard that? Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool, cool. So yeah, well, so practice hard, and you you all be good drivers, and hopefully you guys can represent the country mm. in the nation cup races, uh. Yeah, I maybe hope you so. You can wear my livery on your car. Oh, so, that's cool. And yeah, uh, I would love to see more people join sim racing, uh, mm. and not and teach people that it's not just about turning a car left and right and pressing the throttle and brake 
Right. Which, is, which I am quite annoyed myself. <laughs> when I hear people say that, uh, like my family member, the friends. That driving is easy. Uh, they, don't, they don't get. They don't get racing. Right. Yeah. So. Okay. Those of you listening, who is in the Grand Turismo Singapore page, uh, thank you for being part of the community. Okay. And uh, I love to see you guys in person, and also love to see you guys on track. Uh. Sure. Probably winning everyone else. And thank you so much for yeah, cool, cool. And thank you so much for <laughs> being being with us uh today, and share with us your your thoughts. So thank you so much for your time. So the rest of the viewers do look out for our next uh feature. Not sure when would that be, but hopefully we can make this a, a more regular, be it like a weekly or monthly uh you know, uh just a quick chat with our fellow Singapore drivers and their own. Uh, especially drivers that has their own designs as well. So once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you guys again. Bye. Bye.